Hey y'all, good morning. So, I'm getting ready to do some tea dyeing. And I said, let me put that on camera so that somebody can see how that's actually done. Because when I start making the journals, people will, you know, hear me talk of it, but maybe not know what I'm speaking about. So, um, I'm going to show you. So this is a piece of cloth that I just got yesterday. It's a pretty long piece, but it's, you know, not that much of it. And while I have two pieces, I'm just going to dye this whole piece. I'm going to tea dye it. That means boil some tea bags, let them get nice and dark, and then put the material in there, the paper or whatever. And then this is a piece of cheesecloth. Maybe somebody know what cheesecloth is, but, you know, you use it to wrap cheese up. Um, when it's in the process of, you know, coagulating or whatever it's trying to do like that. And um, here, you can also use this to do some dusting in your house. It holds oil real good, polishes furniture real good. So I'm going to cut um, some of this because I don't want to use my whole piece. I don't know when I'm going to get some more, but... I'm cutting some strips and strands off of it. As you can see, when you try to cut it, it, it does all this. When you try to pull it after you cut it. So you really got to cut this thing. But I want it to be in strips. So I'm not going to um, cut it all the way straight. But I need this for closures and everything. So I'm just cutting a few of them off so I can tea dye some of them. They're already in this nice bone creamy color, but I'm just going to make some of them um, darker. That's all. So I have, hmm, I guess a little good amount of regular, but I'm going to get maybe one or two more pieces. Let's make this one a long one. And then we can always cut it if we need to once. We have it. So that piece I'll keep. And I'm going to tea dye these and this whole piece. Because I have a whole one. Then I'm also going to tea dye some yellow pages. Now these are white pages. Oh good. I didn't even know this was white pages. Oh good. Wonderful. Okay. But the yellow pages section in here. I have a whole yellow page book. Oh. Okay. So what I want is just the ads pages of these. So, I'll get some of these. And um, they don't have a whole bunch of ads on them. I might have to get my yellow pages. Oh, see, like this. This is good. And we might keep some of them blue because there's a lot of good ink on there. And then, okay. Okay, let's get some of these. Medical truck. All of this accident stuff. Okay. That's a nice picture. That's a nice picture we can use. Medical male practice. Let's take this one. Alright, let's go to the back. Veterinarians. Let's just take all these. They all wrinkle and look like they were wet before. So we'll take them nice and wrinkled out and good. All right, let's see what else we see. We'll need a whole bunch of them, but just some. Is this just one? This a medical malpractice? It's all things. Lawyers, dentists, it's all things. Okay, so this is good. I don't have to, but maybe I will dot a couple of these just to see. Just to see. This is about five of them, I think, maybe. Yeah, that's good. All right, so we'll use that. We'll tee dye these pages today. And we're going to tee dye some composition paper. Okay? That's what we're doing this morning. Because I'm still getting my stuff together. I just want to start a book so badly. But you got to have what you need in place at least so that you can have you know, enough to choose from when you start. And I was looking for 
some gauze. I have some gauze. You know, like bandage gauze. And it's packed up. And I can't get to it. Because I don't know what box that might be in. Because little stuff like that. That could be part of my dresser. Or part of the bathroom cabinet. Or the linen closet. I checked the linen closet box. I didn't find it in there. So, I'm not going to look for the gauze. I just said, let me just cut some of my cheesecloth and that'll be just fine and I'm taking all these pages out this old comp notebook it's almost out it's sewn in which is what you gotta do when you're journaling making these journals but I'm not gonna be doing sewing because one I don't have a sewing machine I'm not buying one but my mother told me she got a brand new one that she's going to give me so now I got to take all this out too because why? Because I'm going to use this this whole cover to make a new journal book out of it. That's why. So, we're going to do that and we're just going to take this and split that in the middle and open it up and everything like that and we're going to reuse that cover. So, now I'm taking all of these items into the kitchen. I need to tea dye these and I think I might do a couple paper towels and this same material like this is kind of what they use for tea bags so they also save the tea bags after you use them and that becomes a part of ephemera so yeah that's where we at with that we're going to take all this trash these cats in here jumping around y'all we're going to take all of this trash into the kitchen and <clears throat> look at them. Can y'all stop playing and acting up in here? The other one over there. We know you over there too. We can see you. Little pooty self. Okay? They in here. Spawn. Always spawn. The little one trying the big one. And the big one teaching the little one. You know how to do something for yourself. Get ready and everything. So here we go into the kitchen. I got the water already got the tea bag setting out I'm gonna set this up here on the stove too and I'm going to adjust this um, tripod so that it can set up higher let's see okay cuz I got my let me see all right so this is not moving but why not let me see I pushed it all the way down in here. Listen, it's always something. Y'all know that song say, if it ain't one thing, it's another. That's all I'm talking about. All right. Oh, and Mike can't move, Joanne, because you got it tied up. Okay, let's let's untie it. Listen, y'all. I got it tied up with this string because it seems to get all crazy when... I know y'all looking at these sodas and these boxes and things. It's okay. I'm right here. I can't. Y'all want to look at the stove? I don't really know. I can't um, lift my stick up until I untie the string. Because sometimes when I'm filming, this is supposed to hold my phone in all of these overhead shots. But sometimes this, the weight of the phone is too heavy for the stick that they said. You know, you can extend it way out here like this. And when you extend it way out here like this, then the phone be making it do like this while I'm filming. And I'll be like, that's not good. That's not okay. So, I have this pair of shoestrings that I opened up that I bought some time ago. And I said, let me see if I can utilize these strings so that I can position this thing and it can stay in place. Because, baby, I can't have that falling all over the place like that when I'm trying when I'm trying to film. And I'm trying to lift this. Listen, y'all. I'm just saying. I'm just trying to, you know, get all of this. I know y'all don't know what I'm talking about. See how I got this all wrapped up with this pair of shoe strings? Okay, this is what I'm trying to unloose. I've gotten the one untied. But you got to come up with something and understand how to utilize it in order to raise this stick up right here let's see okay so now the stick can raise up 
There you go. Do you see that? Okay. Because it was way down. Now it's way up. Okay. That way I can put this phone back in here. Okay. And don't end the video. Because sometimes when I'm trying to do that, it, you know, pushes on the power button. And then I got to start the whole video again. I'll be so mad. So here we go. It's so hot in this kitchen. All right. So I got my crab pot on. Let me put this window up. Because it's steaming in this kitchen, baby. It's hot. All right. Let me turn the ceiling fan on. Okay. Because baby is hot in here. All right. So there we go. That thing is boiling. Okay. So now. I have this cup of tea because it says save your tea bags, right? So I have all these from when I made my tea for my iced tea before. So now, what I'm telling you is that they dump all of these leaves and things out and they dry them on a cookie sheet and just let them dry. And then they put glue on a page and they sprinkle these tea leaves. I'm telling you, all this stuff is incredible. Y'all can't even believe it. So I'm just reusing these old tea bags because they said I could because I'm only going to use them to dye cloth and paper. And then I'm going to save that paper. Then I'm going to add all of these brand new tea bags to it. Okay. <clears throat> and that's what we're doing with that. And so... Let me give one of these nice big spoons and stir it around. And this is some black tea. That's what I chose. I usually make my iced tea with green tea. And when I went to the store, they didn't have any green tea bags. So I had to get 100 tea bags anyway. So I got the black tea and I just made that and put the... Um, lime juice in there and it turned out pretty good because i don't like no taste of a tea bag but i make homemade tea all the time okay but i don't want to taste the green tea is good i can go with that and um so this is what i have and this is getting dark i'm get ready to turn it off because it don't need to cook all day long it just needs to be in a way where it's you know seeping real nice and then get into a place where you can go ahead and drop the material in and take the material out so i'm gonna put this in there now okay this is the cheese claw okay put that right on in there and then i'm gonna put this material in there because these are the heaviest and biggest pieces and i want them to be the darkest okay that's what I want to happen so I don't know how fair it's going to take to that one piece because it is um already like a bone color look I see tea leaves is busted in here all of them won't be but I see the little tea leaves on the um cloth so you know we just work it the way we work it okay Sometimes people are doing coffee dyeing. Sometimes they're doing tea dyeing. Um, I was going to do coffee dyeing. I got a can of coffee right there. I use this coffee in my basement. Okay, because my basement gets a like a mildewy smell because of rainwater. The water is not coming in the basement, praise God. But because of um, some kind of seepage from somewhere. You know, whether it's dripping from the ceiling, the roof, you know, something like that. Whatever it is, the um cuz I do have a small leak in my roof. But, you know, I'm not I'm not ashamed to say these things. These things are real life. Somebody else know that they had a, a ceiling leak and they've had to replace the ceiling too. And so guess what? Um the basement can be a little bit of a musty smell when it rains heavy or for a couple days in a row. And so um you know, I used to have a problem with water getting in my basement, but praise God, that's been kind of remedied a little bit. So I've not had that problem for about three years now, praise the Lord. Um, but yeah, I use that coffee 
and put it on a plate. And um, they just say get some coffee grinds and get some baking soda. And then when you get the coffee grinds and the baking soda, um, put it on a plate or a tray or something and put it in your basement. And it'll absorb, the baking soda will absorb the moisture. And it does work because when you go down there, maybe in about three weeks or something, that baking soda will be crunchy on the top. And so um, it absorbs the moisture and then it, um, the coffee takes away the smell of the musk, you know. So uh, that's what that is. So I'm looking at this material. It don't look like it's, <clears throat> like it's that dark to me. Let me get these little, you know, pinchers like this. Oh, it's a little bit darker. Oh, it's definitely a little bit darker. Okay, let's look for the cheesecloth. Oh, see, that's really darker. It's got a lot of tea leaves in it, but it's okay. You're going outside and hang out outside somewhere on the fence because I don't feel like hanging no clothesline. And we're going to do that probably right about now because... I want to dye the paper too and I want to do all of that at once so let me get over here uh, y'all can see me that way I'm going to the door and I'm going to open this string this holding screen door closed and locked and I'm going to take this teapot outside Oh, and good morning. good morning, and I'm going to bring my, um, my pinchers, these little, this is what I use when I'm frying my chicken, okay, and I'm going to bring my camera out so you all can see how this turned out better in the light and everything that's what we're gonna do and see that's not bad this came out a nice color it's a nice color nice color nice color all right and so okay came out a nice color it was nice and bone and now it's you know, like caramel color. So that's pretty cool. All right, we're gonna put that on this fence right here. And let's not put the hand in there. It's right there where I can reach it. But let's not put my hand in there. And these came out all right too. Y'all can see all of these tea leaves on there. Y'all can see that, right? It's okay though, that's fine. I'm going to count them and make sure I know how many. Well, I won't count them. I'm going to just go ahead and put some pins on them. That's hot. Got to blow it and everything. All right. I guess when I come out here, I should have on my external mic, but I don't have that thing on. All right. Let's get this thing again. And then my neighbor's um, air conditioning unit just came on. So that's what that noise is out here. All right. We are getting there. Let's see how many more I got in here. All right. So this is the process. I've never watched any of the people that I follow. I've never watched them do the tea dyeing. But I figured since I'm going to do it for the first time, I will put it up on my channel. I'm sure somebody probably showed it before, but I've not seen anybody do it. So if I'm doing it all wrong, it's coming out all right for me. Okay? <laughs> That's where I'm at with it. I don't see any more of the cheesecloth. All of this looks like um, tea bags. All right, so 
Let's get some pins. Alright. I know. So all my clothes pins are down here. So that's what I was doing. Kneeling down getting that. And I'll pin this on here so that they won't fly away. Okay? That's what I'm doing over there. Pinning it so it does not fly away. Let's see. I don't know. How can I? Um, okay. I set that up a little bit so y'all can see. Okay? So that's what I've done to that. Pin that up there like that. And I'm going to slide this cloth down a little bit. And just pin that on here like this. Get one more of these pens and now that's that. And that's going to dry like that. And I'm going to get the paper. And so, here we go. We got our paper. And we're going to put the paper on the wall right here. That's where we're going to put it at. So now, I'm going to have to drop this back down a little bit. So y'all can see the wall now. Okay? Because that's where I'm going to line the paper up on the wall. Okay? All right. So we're going to put that in just one piece at a time because I don't want it to break up and I don't want it to, um, I don't want nothing to happen to it. I don't know how long it's got to be in here. But you got to be very careful with the paper. Okay? If you put two and three in there together, it's going to stick together. Then you won't be able to take it apart. So, I don't know how well this is going to do. I might have to drop some coffee in this. It's not changing this yellow. But you never know. It might be when it dries. I don't know. So we have to wait and see. It looks like it's yellow to me, but maybe this white part will be brown. All right, let's do some regular white paper and let's see how that turns out. That'll help me know if I need to add some coffee to this. Oh, it popped a hole right in it. It can't even survive. It can't even survive. It broke all up, guys. Look. It broke all up. It's all torn up. I told you got to be gentle with it. And I was being gentle. I just put it in there. And just like that. It can't even survive. So we'll put it back in there. We'll try it again. We'll see what it turns out to look like. I don't know. Maybe you're not supposed to do it like this. I don't know. Because I've never done it before, right? We said that. If it can't work, it can't work. <laughs> I'm making this paper for my for my channel, for this journal. Are you making paper? Yeah. I mean, I got the paper already, but I'm tea dyeing it. And it's, it's not holding up in this water. Because maybe it's so hot. I don't really know, but I just dyed this. This was like a beige color, like bone, and I tea dyed it. And this was like creamy. Yeah. So you can dye the paper too, but the paper didn't survive. I put one sheet in there and it just, 
you know, yeah. just shriveled all up. So I don't know. We're going to try two and three together and see if they can stick together and hold on. I don't know, but we're doing the best we can. That's it. That's all you can do. That's all we got. <laughs> so this is running all the blue lines together on this. When I put all this together. I'm not sure how it's going to turn out. It's holding up. It's it not is. Apart. Right. It's holding that's up. Thing. Yes. <laughs> that, that's a good thing, right? Yep. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. So, I'm going to leave this one like that. And, and it's got some crinkles in it, which is nice. Turned out that the crinkles are in there. So, uh -huh. we'll, we'll, we'll know how it's going to turn out. Let me get the coffee. I'm going to have to add some coffee. <laughs> Yeah, add the coffee to it and see if it makes a difference in how fast it dyes the paper. So, we'll see in a second. Because nobody's got to drink this. We just have to dye paper with it. So, that's a good amount. Let's see. Alright. And then, we'll mix that all together. And see if it's, ooh, it's black almost. <laughs> it's almost black, y'all. Y'all see that? And the coffee grounds are on the top because these need to be in a um, filter. And I bought coffee filters too, but I'm not going to dye any of them right now because I don't feel like all of these things. But I'm going to dye some of it. Okay, so now, ew, look at that. It's got all the coffee. Okay, let's put the paper in there. Let's see how it turns out. We'll see. Maybe. Let's put one of these yellow pages in there first. Let's check that one. See how it does. I don't know. We'll see in a second. We'll put two. Move one on the side. Let's see how it comes out. I don't know. Don't look like it's changing it, but it might be. All right, these papers hold up way better than that regular notebook paper. Yeah. So hopefully, hopefully it'll die. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna die or not. It smells like coffee. It don't smell like tea anymore at all. The coffee is powerful. So I don't know, but we're just going, listen. If it don't die, I won't be worrying about it dying because I've been doing watercolor dye paper all along and I got a nice stack of that. But we're trying I don't to think figure that paper is going to die because it has color already in it. Yeah, that's what I think. But I was thinking maybe it might die the white parts of it. You won't be able to see it until after it dries yeah. to see if it actually took on this white area. And it probably did because this looks a little brown to me. My fingers are looking brown, okay? <laughs> so, so guys, we'll try some white paper now, okay? Let's put two, let's put three together and see how many turn into a different color. <clears throat> Let me show y'all what it looks like. <laughs> so this is how it's looking. <clears throat> Excuse me. But it doesn't look like it's dying it right away. So maybe that's why some people paper look like it's not really dyed. And you can just see like what I said about this paper. You can see the crinkles in it from it being in here like this. I don't know. Oh yeah, this is a little bit tinged. It's a little bit. So let's see. It's hot, but it, you know, I ain't put my hand in there for a long time. So we got this. Okay, it's not doing too bad. Oh, it's breaking up. Let me take it out. It's okay if it's broke up because that makes it all the more interesting when you put it in the journal. I don't want to tear it all the way up though. Okay, so let me just put it out here just like this. <coughs> Excuse me. And try and straighten it out some. The blue lines are pretty much washed away. So that's what this one looks like. And this is actually three sheets of paper. So we'll see. Let's do a couple more like that. Let's do a couple more like that. I like it. Okay. Put them in there. 
this process is real and I think this is good so people understand what all went into it like you got to do all kinds of things and buy all kinds of things and this is why I try to show what I'm doing and I appreciate my viewers watching because I saw on um, these long form videos they don't have no music or no type of you know extra to it that I do have views almost 50 on one and then the other one was getting up to um, like 15 or something so I was like okay this is good people are watching so let me just keep going so here we go all that blue dies off of this paper all right and so we're going to take this one out i don't think the yellow pages work too well in this but it's okay we can get some of this vintage paper going with this notebook paper all right and then we'll take this one and put it down here it's all right it's got these little holes and things in it you got to pay for this stuff they're selling this stuff online you can buy this stuff just like this. And somebody else is tea dining and coffee dining for you. And charging you for it. But you can get it right in here yourself. And go ahead and come together with it. Okay. I try not to poke it too much with this. Because this definitely puts a hole in it. Alright. Y'all see the blue just running right on up out of there. Alright, and I'm about to end this video and just, you know, let this part be that. And I'm going to cut magazine cuts and everything and work on that stuff. And then I'll come back and check on this paper in about three hours and see how dry it is and try to separate it. And you just wait till it dries all the way and then be all crinkled together and you can take it apart without it being you know messed up i'm gonna take this now while it's still got blue in it okay because the blue is still there and i want it to be all crinkled up i don't want them all to you know be all sitting flat so they have some different type of form to it okay all right then we'll do another set I've seen them even ball the paper up and put the paper in there balled up. Let's see if we can do something. I don't know if it'll come apart or not, though. I'm not going to leave mine balled up because I might not be able to take it apart. And that won't be good. But I'll make it crinkly and see if I can, you know, get it in some kind of balled up, crimpled form before I put it in there. I'll take this one out while it's still blue. Look at the blue running in there. It's blue-brown. Okay. And put this one. Just let it dry just like that. That's going to be nice. Woo! I don't know did that work out or not. But we're just going to put this one in here on the side. It sunk all the way to the bottom. Let me turn it over. The balled up one. <clears throat> you right over there, Joe? I'm all right. Oh, something fell out here. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. I have a shovel. Oh, okay. Yeah, so there you go. Somebody say, is it hot? It is hot. But I'm just on the top of the paper. I'm not really, you know, down in there. I'm put this right here with this other ball, that paper that fell apart at first. All right, we might ball up another two. See how they come out. I don't know. <coughs> when they dry. This sign stuff is crazy. <coughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Let me sit this down. I keep trying to let y'all see when it goes in because 
I would want to see too. I'd be watching some people when they be doing their videos and you know they're established and everything. They got a great following in the hundred thousands and some of them near a hundred thousand, you know, and I'd be looking at the video like I was watching last night and she everything she was doing was back here like this and I could just see this. And I couldn't see what she was actually doing. I was like, oh. So I'm not the only one who do that. I'm sorry y'all about the banging. He's fixing something in his kitchen, I suppose. We're right next door. Good morning. We're right next door to my neighbor's house. So, you know, that's how it is. Then we got people across the alley working on the house. So now you're hearing some tools and things. Oh, I ripped this one. I wasn't trying to rip it, but it ripped. It ripped. All right. Okay. These tea bag pockets going to be plenty um, dark because they they already in tea and now they in coffee. So they'll probably come out as dark as this, if not darker. This is a really nice color, though. That tea really did that good. All right, so we got this. It's falling all apart. It's falling all apart. I'm dropped it right on top of this, just like this. It's okay, cause all these bits and pieces of paper you still can use. You can use all of this. They use this stuff. They might take something like this, and it's just this little piece like this. And it'll be dry and crunchy. And they'll put it on a piece of the journal with glue. And then put like a butterfly or a heart or a star or a feather or a little bird or something on this. And it's just a little teeny piece of paper. I'm telling you, all of these things are still good. It doesn't matter that it's all torn up. This is what it's called. It's called a junk journal. Like y'all gotta Google it or go ahead and put it in your search bar for YouTube. And look at some of these junk journal videos if you're starting to become interested in this. Oh, this only got one side, so let's keep it. I'll keep that. I didn't even know. See, one side is completely washed away. Then it's the blue run, and then it's just straight white. Look at that. That's interesting. Let me do some more of them like that. Just do, you know, some. I'm holding this tripod so it's all over the place. I'm going to hold this just like this. And just let it do that again. That's pretty cool. Like, I wonder how you got that like that. Yeah, I wonder too. I thought it was down in there, but it wasn't all the way down in there. And that's how it came out. So, let me hold it and be easy. Oh, excuse me. And so now, there's that blue line effect. Y'all see that? That's pretty cool. You keep it in there long enough. I'm going to take all of it out on one side. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Let's see. Yep, there it is. All the lines gone on one side. <coughs> Okay. We don't know how it's going to work out. We'll just come together with what it is. All right. That's what we're looking like we have in here. Okay. We got a few more pieces. Quite a few more pieces of white paper to dye. Quite a few more pieces. So, I might get this one at the top. And just leave half of that. I like this idea. I like that. So it's already up there. That's pretty interesting. I like that. I've not seen this before. So maybe my video will go viral some kind of way. I don't know. It don't have no music to it. And it don't have no thumbnail or whatever. But maybe, you know, YouTube will capture something besides the clothespins on the ground and my toes, okay? I don't know what they're going to get. Because they be grabbing some stuff and it be just crazy, the stuff they grab as a uh, still. 
that's why you're supposed to do a thumbnail because if you don't choose a thumbnail for yourself they're going to choose one for you and so that's what that is there's some paper in this water i didn't know it was in there so i'm trying to get it hopefully it's not too bad well the lines are almost gone at the top of this but look at that that's pretty cool white notebook paper the blue line some tea dye and then blank look at that i need to pin this up because i needed to dry just like this i wanted to run see that that's pretty cool that's pretty cool y'all now who knew because i didn't and i'm gonna do this when i don't want this much I'm going to do this one upside down. No, I'm going to do it sideways. I'm going to keep this edge line from the... Yeah, let's do this side like this. And do half. That's what we're doing. Half of it like this. Alright, so now it already ran the blue lines. Let me come up a little bit higher. So it just be like one column. You see it running up the paper? It's running up. The longer I leave it in the water, it's running up the paper. All right, now let's just lift this up. That is really awesome. Look at that. That is so cool. That is super cool, actually. I'm excited about this. And I wasn't even going to tee dye this white paper. I was, I mean, this lined paper. I was going to use my white paper that I bought but that's the paper that I um been using watercolor paints to you know change some of that but this is really cool how this is coming out like this it's gotta be in here a little bit longer I don't know if I need to move over here stir it up or something like that I'm not sure <clears throat> See, this would be a cool still just to, you know, get it like this. But you don't know what they're going to use. So this is why when I be out doing these things, whether outside or in the living room or wherever I be, I be trying to, you know, just let them have some kind of footage where they can choose something that makes sense and not something that's just stupid, you know. I don't really know. I don't mean to really, you know, just do that for y'all to watch. But I'll be just trying to come up with them having something decent to show the viewers a reason to click onto the video. That's what I'll be trying to do. Okay? Alright, so. I mean, all of this pot and this tea and all of this stuff. And they, you would think they might want to use this, but they won't. Okay, and that's pretty cool like that, too. Look at that. All right. We got to get us another pen. Might have to get two pens. And this one down here. Like so. And that looks pretty good. That's that one. And then this one. I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. All right, let's dig out this paper that's in here. That's been in here a long time. Okay. Good morning. So, this one is all right. Okay. We're going to put this one. Let's put this over here. Oh, that one paper blew down. See that? I didn't even notice that. That blew down. I don't want that to blow nowhere. These are the first ones I saw. All right, let me just put it right here. Oh, come on, like this. I gotta put a rock on it so it can stay still. I don't want it to blow away, okay? All right, now, okay, here we go. Y'all finish watching this. I'll check back with y'all later. Let me just take one of these tea bags. I'm gonna take one of these, dip it out, and lay it on here and just let it dry on there like that maybe it'll add some extra to that page okay that's all i'm trying to say this one don't really need one but you know i'll just squeeze the tea on there oh 
See, they might get that. I didn't know I was looking at the trash can. I was so focused on what I was doing. The heck? I hope they don't use that. That's so stupid. I mean, but somebody might want to know what you're doing with the trash. But today is not the day that I'm, what you call, um, cleaning them out. So, I'm just squeezing some on here so it can dry on there like that. Because, you know, if we drinking something or eating something and we drop it on our clothes, it will dry up. Won't it dry up right there? Yes, it will. Okay. All right, y'all. I'm putting this in and I'm out. I will talk with y'all later. Peace.